Peanut butter is a pantry staple in many homes, but if your family needs to avoid peanuts, there are plenty of other options. Registered dietitian Zanat Reza is in the AIM kitchen to show us a variety of nut and seed butters, yeah. and really tasty nut and seed butters. Tell me the difference between, I mean, we talk about peanut butter all the time, we all use it, but the, but the other nut butters, there are chan there is a chance that someone who's allergic to peanut butter may be able to use another type of nut butter. That's right, because peanuts technically are legumes because they grow on the ground, whereas the other nuts are more tree nuts. So okay. sometimes you could be allergic to peanuts, but not tree nuts, and vice versa. Okay. And now peanut butter is the most popular spread because nine in 10 of us actually buy peanut butter butter um, but certainly what you're going to be getting no matter if you buy uh, you know other nut butters or even seed butters like sunflower seed or sesame seed butter is two main things one is most of the fat in nuts and seeds are the good monounsaturated okay, heart so healthy don't have to fat. worry about that so don't worry so much about okay. the fat content um, number two they are good source of protein so it's a good sort of meat alternative so for nuts about a small handful is considered a serving and for nut butter two tablespoons is a serving run through a couple of the ones that you brought here just so sure. we can get a sample of other okay. than peanut butter. Right, so I mean obviously with the peanut butter you get sort of folate and magnesium, uh, even something like manganese that's good mm. for your brain and keeping your nerves going. Um, but then you get other things like almond butter, which you would get a little bit more sort of magnesium, which is good for um, sort of uh, keeping your blood pressure in check, some calcium, not that you would totally count on no. almond butter to get all your calcium, but certainly you can get some of that. Even sunflower seed butter, it's very high in vitamin E, which is um, a really good antioxidant. Um, and also selenium, which can help boost your immune system. That's a good thing. And what about it tahini? Good, tahini, which is basically sesame seeds that have been crushed up. Okay. You know, we're really uh, familiar with it in terms of hummus, but with tahini, again, you'll get some calcium. So no matter which nut or seed butter you have, you'll get sort of the heart healthy fats and the plant omega-3s which are which is called ALA. So they're all good, yeah. So they're all good but you'll get slightly different nutrient profiles. So my recommendation is find the ones that you love to enjoy and enjoy those. So you, you know there's only so many nuts and spreads you can have in your house. Yeah um, you <laughs> and know, how do you store them? So to store them, I like buying the ones that are just pure nuts or seeds crushed. Okay. Some brands have a little bit of sugar or oil added to them, but if you're buying ones that are just, you know, um, a pure nut, what you do is you're going to get some oil separation. Yes. You just turn it upside down and store it upside down. And okay. what that does, is it lets the oil spread throughout the, the whole jar. At room temp or in the fridge? At room temperature. Okay. Once you open it, then you put it in the fridge and that'll help it stay fresher for longer, okay. for sure. You've got some good snacks. Ideas. Yes, I do, because uh, I love everything nuts and nut butter. So the first one is um, these peanut butter energy balls. And all I've done is I've crushed up some peanuts, a little bit of peanut butter, dates, uh, ground chia seeds, and some cranberries, and you just Look whirl it together. Cute that is. And they're so cute, and there's no added sugar. That's the best part, because the dates help it to bind together. And it's, it's a little bit filling. I mean, there's That's the right. protein in and, it. And, you know, some kids can't take that to school, but it's a right. great after-school snack. And, you know, if you like green smoothies, if you add some nut butter to a smoothie, it helps take away some of the, the green... The chalkiness yes, or whatever. Yes, sometimes, yeah. right? So I do have a, a sort of a no-fail no um, green smoothie here. So check out the okay. recipe on the AM website. And, and here... And these are little apple cookies. They're kind of a cheat cookie in the sense that um, I've given you some sunflower seed butter okay. and I've got peanut butter. So all you do is you slice your apples um, in circles and then you spread. Kids would love to be able to do yeah, this and perfect. you know what? You can totally customize this, right? Yeah. So in front of us, I've got some shredded coconut and you can put some cranberries. There's even, um, you can put some little pumpkin seeds on top. And you know what? Why not add some oh, chocolate chips? Why not? Chocolate chips, some peanut butter. Chocolate and peanut yeah. butter. I know, it's such a Perfect great combination, combo. right? It's favorite. And these are what? Sorry, these are the little uh, roasted pumpkin seeds. Okay. So again, look how you're cute getting, that is. It's so cute, right? And kids are going to love in, you know, doing this, and what adult's not going to love that either? This is great. Yeah. Zana, thank you very much you're for welcome. coming in. Lovely. You'll find today's recipes on our website and more about peanut, uh, nut and seed butters on CanadaM.ctvnews.com.